Welcome to the 3D Cut Freak channel. Let's talk about sculpting mode in Fusion 360. Sculpting mode can be found here in this icon called Create Form, and this text really describes it best. Use the sculpt commands when shape is more important than exact sizes. Why is that? Because you can change the size later to any size you like. So now we're talking about shapes. When you start with sculpting mode, you get this Create menu where you find some basic shapes. And one of the most important basic shapes is probably the box or the cylinder. It depends on what kind of model you would like to, more to, to, to create. But I would like to start with a plain shape, as it, I think, best describes the way the sculpting mode actually works. When you click on the plane icon, of course, you need to select a plane where you want to sketch your rectangle. Let's select this one. And there's, there are only two types of rectangles you can, you can um, uh, sketch here. The one with the center point and the other one with two points. As you can see, there is no circle function, there is no line, etc., etc. That's also one basic idea of how the sculpting mode actually works. You are not sketching in here, but you can do sketches later. But when you start the sculpting mode, you don't do sketches. You just create faces or simple shapes. So let's choose the two-point rectangle and create a rectangle. Now, it does make sense to type in some dimensions, roughly the dimensions of the part that you would like to create, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. You can change the size anytime later. So let's just skip this, this step and press enter or OK in the menu. Now this is your first uh, sculpted shape. Of course, it's pretty boring. It's just a planar surface, but there's something important here. You can see that there are four faces. Uh, this is not the minimum size. The minimum size is just one, but that's very, very basic. Um, don't worry if you need more faces because you can always add faces later. There are different ways to do so. Now, when you created the basic shape like this, you need or you may want to modify it in order to get another shape. How do you do that? Well, now this is the this is the point where you start with the edit form feature. How do you find the edit form feature? There are several different ways in Fusion 360 to do so. I clicked on the right mouse button to open this menu and go to the right top corner to click on edit form or you can of course also go to modify edit form. This is a very, very powerful menu, menu and for the, for the sculpting mode, you will probably use this menu 90% of the time. What can you do in here? The basic idea is you can select points, edges or faces or the combination or more than one edge. I did that with a double click and then manipulate the faces. You can pull them up, pull them to one side, rotate, etc. etc. We will talk about this modifier uh, later in detail. The basic idea behind the sculpting mode is that uh, when you think you're finished with uh, modifying and sculpting your your surfaces or your your body in this case you can see that it's called a body in the model tree then uh, you click on finish form and you finish this one feature this one sculpted feature which does not mean that you cannot go back it's just that at the moment when you finished it you cannot modify it anymore with the sculpting technique. So now you can create a thickened surface, you can make some holes and some some fillets, etc. 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 You can all you can do all that in Fusion 360. But when you decide that maybe that shape is not that nice and I, I would like to 
modify something or add something you can always do that you can see that down here there is a there is a form it's called form 4 in in my case uh, you can click on this on this form you can now see it's highlighted click on the right mouse button to edit the feature and as you can see you're back to the sculpting mode you can go back to selecting um, points edges faces as usual edit the form modify the shape in any way you like click on ok finish the form and now we're here what you will not see is an additional model tree or additional features in here you will always only see this one form in the in the model tree thank you for watching and please make sure to watch my other videos about fusion 360